All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out and make your own value scale. To start off, we need to know what value is, which is the relative lightness or darkness in a color. So this is an example of a value scale going from the darkest to the lightest. And then we are going to have this space down here to practice making our own value scales. One as your first practice and then one second practice after you kind of start getting the hang of it. So your first step is to take a pencil. It doesn't have to be super sharp because you're gonna end up dulling it right away as you start filling in this darkest spot. Your first step is to start all the way on the far side and make your darkest color first. So I'm going to fill this in as dark as I can. I might have to go twice over it. Don't worry about filling it in all the way to the edges. That's just kind of um, too much work and not necessary for this. So then after that, the directions say to move the box directly to the left and make it lighter than the last box. So now that I have my darkest box, I'm going to come over to the next box and go slightly lighter than that box. I also have this value scale right above at all times to look back, so I might see that my second one is still pretty light, so I need to go back and make it darker, and then I might have to go back even one more time over my darkest square and see if I can get that just a tad darker. Then I keep moving on. See if I can make this lighter than that one. Move on, make that one lighter than the last one I just colored. But keep checking up here. I do see that I'm going a little too light already and I'm gonna run out of values and gonna have nowhere to go when I get to the far left side. So what I wanna do is go back over and make this one just a tad darker. And then make the one next to it a tad darker. And as long as they're still slightly different values from one to the other, you are good. So then I'm going to move over one more, slightly lighter, slightly lighter. And then it gets really hard right here because you have to press super, super lightly with your pencil. So it no longer do you want to be up and down like this. You want to hold your pencil to the side, however feels comfortable. I usually hold my pencil like this, but when I do it from the side, I kind of stretch my fingers out a little bit more and have my pencil just resting on it. And I'm going to try to do that even lighter and lighter. Now if I look back, now I see that a lot of my shades here still ended up the same color. So maybe on my second try, I'm gonna try to make sure that these colors right here have more difference than they did there. So one more time, I'm gonna do this one pretty fast so you have lots of work time to try this. So I'm gonna make that one as dark as I can slightly lighter than that one, but still pretty dark. A little bit lighter. I'm gonna go back, see I'm getting maybe a little too light and they're kind of the same right here. So I'll go back and darken that one, darken this one back up, and then darken that one. And then I'm gonna go back and keep going lighter Starting to get really, really soft with my pencil, barely even touching the paper. This does take some practice to be able to go that light, and then this one is barely even any pencil on there. I still have pretty similar with those three right there, if you can tell that those three are pretty similar there at the end, the ones that right next to the white. So I'm gonna try one more time to darken this one just a tad. And then this one, I'm just gonna move my way back to the right, darkening every one just a hair to see if I can get more of that increase and decrease in value. And there we go. Even if it's not perfect, at least I'm trying. I'm trying to build a new skill. And this is something you could practice on your own whenever you'd like. 